We all know about the airline EasyJet, but there's some stuff that you probably don't know about them. They do bleach and they do hotels. So tonight we're going to be staying in an Easy Hotel here in Newcastle and we're going to give it an honest review. It's quite central, it's about a five minute walk. Let's get checked in. Behind me is the Easy Hotel where we're going to be staying tonight. It's about a five minute walk from the train station which is really good and the price was a bargain but I'm not going to tell you that at the start you can find that out at the end I've got a room booked for tonight What's this uh, Spooner Thank you That was a really simple check-in process I've got my card It's quite a nice card actually and we're on the first floor and we are room number 118. So here we are at our room. Pretty simple. Press it down onto the reader and oh. Apparently I don't have any working lights. Oh, that would make sense, just put your key in there. There we go. Now the lights are on. This is the room. We've got a nice mirror over there. We've got some places to hang your clothes, I guess. A TV over here, bed, another mirror. And then I assume for here is the bathroom. So where's the light? I can't find the light. Where's the, is there no light for the bathroom? Ah, there it is. Right, so this is the bathroom. We've got a nice, lovely mirror over here. Toilet, sink, shower, which is looking quite fancy, I can't lie. You might notice one thing missing though. There isn't a window, but that's what makes it so cheap. As an overall, the room is quite nice. It's quite bright, it's quite vibrant. It's got everything you need. It's got plug sockets next to the bed. They're not on the other side of the room. One concern, you can't really see it on the camera, but there are a few weird looking marks on the wall. I don't know what that would be from. One thing about the room immediately I've noticed is the air conditioner is making a bit of a weird noise, which at night is definitely gonna bother me. We are given a safe, which makes me a little bit concerned. And then speaking about beds, it feels relatively soft. There is a hair on the bed. I mean, it's a bit small for two people, which this room is designed for. But for one person, as small as me, it's more than enough. All right, let's give this better review then. It's not too bad. It's not very soft, but it's definitely like sleepable. And if you're only using the hotel room for the night, like as an actual bed, then it's perfectly fine. There's one thing I'm concerned about, and when you turn the lights off, wait, Oh no, there is a lamp. Okay, I was gonna say, because I thought your only option was big light or no light. Even though the hotel is a budget hotel, it does come with a Wi-Fi. So I thought, you know, again, it's only fair to try it. So the Wi-Fi is working, just doing a little speed test. And it looks to be decent. Looks like it's, it's good Wi-Fi. So you could definitely get everything done that you need to do so I'm just gonna crack on with some editing and then once I've done my work I'm gonna go out into Newcastle see what Newcastle has to offer and go to the pub because I really really fancy a pint of Guinness so I've just finished doing my work and I've been sat on the bed for about an hour and I'm in genuine pain like I thought it was quite soft it's not it becomes really really firm it's like obviously it's not memory foam but that's not the end of the world. But it's just like really firm and really starts to hurt after a while. Which when I'm sleeping, I'm not sure how that's gonna, you know, <laughs> how that's gonna be. There is one thing I found out though. As you can see, it says checkout time is 10 a.m. But I'm pretty sure on the website, it did say 11. Cause 10 for a hotel is really quite early. That means I've got to be up, ready, and out by 10 o'clock in the morning, which for me is a bit of a stretch. I'm in the corridors at the 
minute walking through. And it, it's got this horrible smell of kind of like cigarettes and also like just body odour. Like the hotel's clean, but it, it, it just doesn't smell very nice. Okay, so we are now back in the room and I am ready for a good night's sleep. I'm going to put the TV on, hopefully fall to sleep, and I will see you in the morning. Oh, so it's about nine o'clock. I need to get up, shower, get ready, and get out by 10. I can't lie, I think that's the best hotel shower I've ever had in my life. Like the water pressure on that was unreal. And then, like the temperature was good. The only thing I would say is annoying, the door's a bit weird, like when you're in the shower, it kind of hits you if you open it, but we can get used to that. But yeah, that was, a, that was a top class shower, I can't lie. Okay, so I've packed all my personal belongings, got everything I need, and now we've got to go check out, which I'm kind of happy to do so because this place is really creepy in the house. Yeah, all right, morning, just need to check out, yeah? Lovely. Cheers, guys. Thank you. So that is our stay at Easy Hotels done. Personally, I think it's all right for what you pay. If you wanted a decent place to stay, I wouldn't stay at Easy Hotels just because it's not very comfortable. It's a bit weird. And to be honest, it does smell a little bit. Overall, I only paid £39.60 for my room, which at the end of the day isn't that bad. Most hotels in the area are about £60 to £70 for a decent hotel so to save 30 quid especially if all you're going to be doing is sleeping in the room it's really not that bad i hope you did like this video if you did like subscribe all that good stuff and i will catch you in the next one